Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Abu Dhabi where he was received by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty held a meeting with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed in the presence of officials from both countries where they discussed the heinous attacks carried out by the terrorist Houthi militia on civilian areas and facilities in the UAE targeting the lives of innocent people. His Highness briefed His Majesty on the details of the cowardly terrorist attack and the measures taken by the UAE within the framework of its right to respond to this treacherous attack, which is inconsistent with all international norms, laws, and human values. His Majesty expressed Bahrain's condemnation of the terrorist attack and affirmed the Kingdom's firm stance towards the UAE in the face of all threats to its sovereignty, security, and stability in affirmation of the brotherly and historic ties between the two countries and peoples. His Majesty renewed Bahrain's full support of all the measures taken by the UAE to confront the terrorist Houthi attacks and protect the safety of its citizens and residents, stressing that the safety of the security of the UAE is that of Bahrain. His Majesty pointed out the support of world countries to the UAE regarding the Houthi attack and affirmed the status of the UAE on the international level. He praised the successful efforts led by the Emirati diplomacy that contributed to the issuance of the UN Security Council unanimously, condemning the terrorist Houthi attack and affirming the UAE's legal right to defend its sovereignty and preserve its security, stability and interests, and to consider this attack as a dangerous escalation that threatens peace and security in the region. His Majesty wished the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince continued good health and happiness, and for the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for Bahrain's firm stances towards the UAE, and expressed pride in His Majesty's fraternal brotherly feelings towards the UAE, which reflects the strong historical ties between the two countries. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan. His Royal Highness expressed his condolences to the families of the victims and the people of Pakistan following a deadly bombing in Lahore that resulted in multiple casualties and injuries. His Royal Highness wished the injured a speedy recovery and expressed his hope for safety and security for Pakistan. The Prime Minister conveyed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's well wishes and noted the strong bond shared by Bahrain and Pakistan. He concluded by wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued safety and prosperity. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 6 of 2022, restructuring the Government Service Center Evaluation Committee, Taqeem. Chaired by the Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E-Government Authority, the committee will comprise of the following members who will serve for a renewable four-year term. Dr. Raed Mohammed bin Shams, Yusuf Mohammed al-Bin Khalil, Dr. Hamid Ibrahim Abdullah, Usama Saleh Hashim Al Alawi, Sheikh Maad bin Adaij Al Khalifa, Dr. Muhammad Abdullah Baqir, Nada Abdul Majid Al Qassab, Ahsain Ali Shahab, Fadil Ibrahim Muhammad Al Akram, Ahmed Abdul Hay Al Awadi. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 7 of 2022 amending some provisions of Edict 27 of 2020 on restructuring the Board of Directors of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. According to the edict, Clause 5 of Edict 27 shall be replaced by the following. Muhammad Ahmed Abdullah Ali, representative of Mumtalakat Holding Company, shall serve until the end of the term of his predecessor. The Deputy King issued Edict 8 of 2022, promulgating the issuance of the Executive Regulation of Law 7 of 2019 on regulating the registration of births and dates. Deaths. Article stipulates that the provisions of the Executive Regulation Law 7 of 2019 on regulating the registration of births and deaths accompanying this edict shall come into force. The Ministry of Housing continued distributing units in Salman Town and East Head Town on beneficiaries, which is an implementation of the Royal Directors of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units. The Ministry highlighted the integration, integration of the action plan to establish new cities and development projects in order to achieve the objectives of the Economic Recovery Plan, noting the continuation of distributions on citizens from various governorates of the Kingdom at an accelerated and continuous pace within schedule. 
The Ministry of Housing noted its keenness on providing housing and development requirements in order to provide the best services for citizens that meet all future aspirations. During a special interview held with the President of the current session of the United Nations General Assembly, Abdullah Shahid, he spoke about his visit to Bahrain, the meetings he held with officials and the key factors of his presidency of hope. More coming up. I've had the great uh, privilege of uh, meeting His Majesty, uh, the King, uh, the Crown Prince uh, and uh, several other uh, high-ranking officials of the Kingdom. Uh, I'm uh, greatly impressed uh, by the commitment of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations, the ideals uh, that the United Nations aspire and uh, the great uh, strides uh, that the kingdom under the leadership of uh, His Majesty the King uh, has uh, taken in uh, its commitment uh, to uh, keep up this uh, total uh, dedication uh, to the ideals of the United Nations. And uh, I must say that uh, I salute the great work that has been done by uh, Bahrain in promoting uh, women, uh, women's rights and to achieve gender balance. I also understand that 75% uh, of uh, uh, Bahraini uh, health workers, uh, frontline workers are women. Their selfless uh, service to humanity is commendable. I met uh, a number of uh, women, uh, outstanding women diplomats and people who are working in other areas of work in Bahrain. Uh, their professionalism, their knowledge and their commitment uh, to international uh, the promotion of uh, goodwill around the world has inspired me. I also f uh, met the Honorable Speaker uh, yesterday and congratulated her on being the first uh, woman uh, speaker. I shared with uh, her uh, my experiences as a uh, Speaker of Parliament uh, in, in the Maldives and it was uh, good to catch up uh, with a speaker, uh, a woman speaker who is so dynamic and who is totally committed to the promotion of democracy and uh, good governance. Uh, it was a breath of fresh air. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus held a press conference to provide an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response. Following approval by the Government Executive Committee, the task force announced that the Kingdom will remain on the yellow alert level until February 14th. The task force noted that this decision was made to maintain the progress of national efforts to combat COVID-19 to preserve public health. The Under Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al Mana, said that the current focus is on maintaining a low number of patients requiring treatment in hospital or intensive care units, adding that current levels reflect the success of the national vaccination campaign and other measures taken to protect public health. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf Al Gahtani, thanked parents for vaccinating their children and called on those who have not to ensure their children are vaccinated soon in order to preserve their safety and the safety of those around them. He noted that vaccinations and the booster shot have proven to be effective in reducing the severity of symptoms and mor mortality rate in case of infection. The infectious and internal diseases consultant at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, explained that the task force may designate some dates as a higher alert level in the interest of public health and safety, and that the precautionary measures associated with each level are subject to change in accordance with the latest data and developments. She highlighted the importance of quickly testing for COVID-19 when experiencing any symptoms, as the early reporting of symptoms leads to quicker quarantining of existing cases and the reduction of the number of contacts that shortens their treatment and recovery time. A book on Gandhi's engagement with the Arab world titled Gandhi's His Engagement with Islam and the Arab World, authored by Abdel Nabi Shala, was launched today coinciding with the anniversary of India's Republic Day. The multilingual book was launched during a virtual event hosted via Zoom at the Isa Cultural Center in Manama. Today, the four uh, regional language versions of the books are being released and uh, I, I must congratulate him for this feat 
and uh, I must say that uh, uh, this is being uh, launched on the occasion of Republic Day of India. So it's it's a great matter of pride for us, and this is yet another uh, link in the deep-rooted and diversified bilateral relations between our two countries. First, I'm really grateful for Bahrain India Society for uh, organizing uh, this uh, event to launch the four editions of my book, Gandhi and his engagement with, the, with Islam and the Arab world. And the languages were four of the main uh, languages of India, Hindi, Malayalam, Urdu, in addition to uh, English. Uh, the original, of course, was uh, published almost uh, two years ago, and uh, it was very well received. And in fact, the first two prints were, were sold, and uh, the third one is on the way. I didn't, even those, uh, the four languages, I'm happy to see that there were four major publishing houses in India came forward to to publish it in those um, languages uh, in India. The origin of the book, as I said, came, came to my mind to, uh, in, a, in, a, in an effort to bring to our region the principles which Gandhi promoted and adhered to of peace. Uh, I am very happy as, as uh, president of Bahrain India Society that uh, the launch of this book has been selected to be as as we as Bahrain India Society as the, uh, uh, the 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 member is the the place where they have launched this book. Uh, the book is very important because it has shown the Mahatma Gandhi stands towards Arab and Muslims, where we didn't know we we only knew him as the man who has liberated India and brought down the the British rule, and this is something new. I thank. Uh, his Excellency Mr. Abdami Shu'la for highlighting uh, this issue, which is very important, never knew about it. I wish him all the best, and uh, as I understand, there will be some other books in some other languages.